Well, it's been no secret our state has been battling drought conditions all this year. Some parts of the state, like northwest Iowa, have been significantly impacted. WHO's Roger Riley has news of a study by some Iowa State agronomists to find out just how dry it's been. Hi, Roger. Hey, Aaron, you know, this is something that they do. Actually, I, I had not heard of this, but they do it a couple of times a year to kind of know where they're at on the scorecard of moisture. They dug down deep into the dirt to look for moisture at 16 sites across northwest Iowa. Now, just here in Pocahontas County, they found uh, 1.7 inches of soil moisture. Normal for the fall is about six inches, and that leaves it about four and a quarter inches short and down in the soil. Now, as far as rainfall, they've gotten over 24 inches of rain in Pocahontas County this year. Normally, it's uh, close to 34 and they're at 9.23 inches short on the rain deficit. Now, I got to interview today with the author of this study, Gentry Sorensen of Iowa State Ex Extension. On that Pocahontas site, um, I did not find much moisture in the top uh, four feet of soil. I started to hit moisture at about the five-foot level. Um, so that tells me that uh, that crop was really drawing upon um, that top four feet of moisture within that profile to kind of finish out for the year. So the samples are taken in one foot increments down to a five foot level. Um, so every foot is put into a, a can. And uh, the survey was done after the harvest had concluded. Now, as dire as this may sound, I was able to interview one farm farmer who had a decent crop, even though it was very dry. Roger Allen farms with his brother Dan near Rolf in Pocahontas County. We were still able to raise a really good crop, and part of the reason was, I think it was about seven years ago, we had a 410 acre field and we had 230 acres of it underwater. This year we didn't have any underwater. Well, that ground produced, and uh, we ended up averaging about 63 bushel an acre on, on 850 acres, and we were pretty happy with that uh, for as dry as it was. And that 63-acre uh, average was for soybeans, and they were just under 200 for their corn, they said. Pocahontas County is in extreme drought, and it's even worse over by Sioux City, but that's called an exceptional drought. So it's an ongoing situation here, and they know they need a lot of rain before they can plant next spring, Aaron. No kidding. That is not the kind of exceptional yes. we want to hear about. Roger Riley reporting no. live for us mm -hmm. tonight. Thank you.